Hey, Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. So here we're going to look at thoracic, part of the T4, probably go down to T10, T11, T12, the ability for the facet to open up or to flex. So the way we would test it, one of the interesting ways osteopaths might do is they might come in, they might tap for this. That's another way if you haven't done to find area that's stiff. They may look for areas for, especially for flexion props, look areas that have a little bit more extended. I don't know if you can see the area, it's a little bit more flat. So we're thinking, hey, there's a problem with flexion, and we'll, we'll see what this joint can move like. Can this joint flex? We see how it's flatter through there. Or to test it, have Tyler. So the key is, is don't never hold your patient's hand, is that saying? So you come through here, put your foot on there. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it from here and I'm gonna just flex them down to that level. So you feel motion from a top and bottom, okay? I'm on the spinous process, I could side bend them. And then the key part is now we've side bend them a lot, let's push them back to the center. That kind of locks out that area. Take my thumb, go on to the, where the facet would be, and I can then do my testing to see. So I take them into more flexion, side bend rotate, take this thumb. Remember flexion is always towards their eye, so I can take up the side. They can just see, does he have a spring in that area? We could test it to the one above and below. So we can go flexion, side bend to that level, rotate, and again, see if it springs. So this one springs better. Little red dot over here where it was before. Has a little less ability to spring. So technique-wise, I could say the tire, I have you in that position. What you do is gently turn back to the center. Gentle, less, less, good. Right there, hold, two, three, four, five, relax it. Good. Wait for him to relax, I relax, and I could take up the slack. I could do that a couple of times, or I could just do as a mob. I could hold that, take it, and just kind of glide and either do oscillations or just do a stretch. Good, and then I bring him back. Anyway, what I could do after that is retest to see if I made changes. I could do that by tapping. I could, I could do another testing to see in flexion to see if I side bend him. Does that side feel like it's more is it easier to move? Okay, and then of course we'll give them some homework to get that. So maybe some flexion type based movements through this area. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.